everyone and welcome to my first Halloween special doll repaint video of 2024. Yes guys, somehow it's October again, somehow it's spooky season and it's time for my Halloween specials and this year I've decided to start it with making the Queen of Hearts doll from Alice in Wonderland. I've decided to recreate the Tim Burton's edition of this character because you know just a couple of months ago, literally not that long ago, when was it? In August? beginning of August I think I've made my Alice in Wonderland doll and I ask you in the comments if you wanted to see more characters from Alice in Wonderland and all of you literally all of you said yes 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 make more so you don't have to ask me twice here we are Halloween specials Queen of Hearts and my mom will help me with the outfit because this outfit is just too much <laughs> this is just simply too much and you know when I look at the outfit and I understand that this is too much, I ask my mom to make it. Because yes, I can make doll outfits, I think I'm quite good at it, but my mom is a true artist and what is the most important, she enjoys the process. Because I enjoy rather drawing, I enjoy making things out of warbler, sculpting, like making all kinds of accessories, but sewing, especially too big, too complicated outfits, uh, feels a little bit like torture to me sometimes uh, and my mom really loved the process so my mom will make the outfit this time but before I start this transformation I would really love to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I upload new dolls or every week Friday or every second week Friday depends on the size of the project and of course please guys hit the like button if you enjoy things that I make here on this channel and this being said, let's start the transformation. I've decided to use this doll for my Queen of Hearts, you know, mostly because of her heart-shaped hairline. She has here sort of like a widow peak here, perfect for this character. And also like her prominent lips and also these hands with very long nails. Looks good, so let's go with this doll. Let's undress her, let's cut off her hair and let's remove her face with pure acetone.
Okay, everything is gone and now I want to give her new hair. This is definitely the reddest doll hair in my collection, check it out. So, let's use it today. I will first cover her head with red acrylics and then I will give her new hair using my rerouting tool. And this is how her new hair looks a couple of hours later, very fiery, absolutely beautiful, love it. So now let's add some glue inside of the head to keep it in place and then I will let it dry for a couple of days. In a couple of days I can continue working on this doll and now I want to draw her new face. I've sealed her with Mr. Super Clear sealant of course and to start the makeover I'm applying some green pastels to neutralize this very bright pink skin tone. I want it to be very pale because Queen of Hearts has a very 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 pale mask looking face. She also has blue eyeshadows thin eyebrows and heart-shaped lips, red lips. So this is what we're going for today. You know guys, after applying 4 or 5 layers of these blue pastels, I gave up and I made the eyeshadows with the pencils. It's much faster, it's much easier because these blue pastels, they just stay transparent. I don't get the effect that is intense enough. Pencils work better here.
Okay, this is her face. Now let's blush the body to match it and then we will see how my mom is doing there working on her outfit. So now you can see that my mom is starting actually with hand painting hearts on this red silk fabric. When the paint dried down, she gathers the future skirt and she connects it to an upper skirt made out of this, I don't know, sort of old gold color fabric. The next step is making a top and this top is not an easy one, <laughs> let's be honest. It exists out of multiple tiny parts like lace, ribbon, beads and my mom is trying to put everything together now. In the end she's attaching the pointy collar, it's a very statement detail of the outfit. And to blow up our minds completely, my mom is making hand painting stockings. I just don't know what else to say about it, it's just amazing. So and 
this is the finished dress and I don't know this is just a real masterpiece 100% the upper skirt made out of this old gold color material very pretty the hand painted underskirt the top is just the most beautiful thing my mom ever made simply gorgeous really amazing I I'm just in awe <laughs> such a pretty outfit unbelievable and then we have this mind-blowing hand-painted stockings I don't know I think this is one of the coolest outfits ever I'm in love really so let's put it all on the doll So now this phenomenal outfit requires some phenomenal accessories, she needs a crown and she also needs a pair of boots. So I will probably style her hair first to be able to fit the crown and I will curl it and then I will shape her hair similar to what she has in the movie, like two buns kind of little bit heart shaped hairdo. Voila, something like this will be good, I think, so now I can make a crown for her out of Warbler Thermoplastic.
yes something like this will do now let's cover it all with gold I want to make a heart out of UV gel nail polish and I want to attach it to the front of the crown. And I'm also adding some tiny golden balls to complete it. Now we can put the crown on her head and we can enjoy the end result. Looks good. So the next step would be making a pair of boots. And for this I will of course use my Warbler Thermoplastic. Okay, this is the base of the boots and now let's paint them with black and golden acrylics. of the boots I will decorate with black hearts made out of UV gel nail polish and then I will add some beads and some other details to the rest of the boots.
this is what I've ended up making. Now let's put them on the doll and let's enjoy the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Queen of Hearts doll and I think she looks absolutely majestic. Of course, this outfit is doing half of the job, if not more, because my mom has done a phenomenal job once again. You know, every time I say that this is her best outfit ever, and then my mom does it even better and better and better every time. It's simply unbelievable, really. What a dress, what an outfit. Subscribe to my mom's Instagram, by the way. She posts new outfits there weekly and she has a very pretty page. Also, subscribe to my Instagram. It's less pretty, <laughs> but anyway, subscribe there as well. Uh, you know, and for the rest, I think this is one of my coolest dolls ever, one of the coolest dolls on this channel. I really love her look, her attitude, her makeup and hair. I don't know, that was a good project, so guys, please tell me who should be the next character from Alice in Wonderland for me to recreate in the future. Let's continue this series, I'm kind of excited about it. Next week you will see my second Halloween special and this time it will be something kind of different with lots of face and body modifications. I know you like things like this, so please don't forget to come back next week Friday. And if you want to buy this doll, you can find a link to her in the description box under this video. She's available for sale right now for a week on eBay. So guys, and that was it. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you soon, probably next week Friday, in my next Halloween special. Love you guys. Bye!